Hi, Carol Fitzgerald here with veganrecipesforhealth.com. Today I'm going to make a beet strawberry smoothie. I know the combination doesn't sound very good, but it's, it's good. I, I had one this morning, except I changed the green out a little bit. These are beet greens, and at the end of these stems came huge beets. I went to the store yesterday and I said, I like just about everything, but I do not like beets. So I said to the girl, all I'm going to use are these greens, and most people throw them away, don't they? And she said, yes. I said, I don't really want the beets, so could you just cut the greens off for me? She said, oh my gosh, sure. She gave them to me. She said, I'm just going to give them to you. I'm not even going to charge you for them. These are filled with nutrition. My friend Jane from myhabit.com uh, sent an email out the other day and said there are uh, there um, is lots of nutrition in the greens and vitamin A, vitamin K, antioxidants and I'm on a cleanse and just so happened funnily enough my cleanse called for beet greens beets actually called for beets and greens so I'm just using the greens so two things that happened I call that a synchronicity so anyway, I'm going to put these greens in my blender that I have uh, filled with two cups of cold water. And this morning I used spinach. I'm going to use some parsley this afternoon. Parsley and beet greens. And about, I don't know, I think I counted maybe 13 strawberries with the stems intact because there's nutrition in that as well. And then flax meal. I put in two tablespoons and my wonderful ma maca powder. If you can't find this anywhere, it's optional. You don't have to use this, but I love the taste that it gives. So in goes that, and now we'll blend. nutrition goodness. You could even, um, this is okay, but I had I added a little bit of agave to it, so if you like it a little bit sweeter, you can add some um, sweetener to it, sugar or, or agave. So there you go, a beet parsley strawberry smoothie. Thank you for watching.